It's another big weekend as the Guinness Pro 12 reaches round 12, with Ospreys travelling to Rodney Parade to face Newport Quent Dragons on New Year's Day. Join us now to look ahead to the game with Hanno Dirksen and David Howells. Hanno, another Welsh derby this weekend, Newport Quent Dragons at Rodney Parade, another tough challenge for us. Yeah, very tough. Um, every time we've gone up there, you know, the crowd adds a massive uh, advantage for them and uh, it's going to be a cold night, but uh, hopefully we can go up there and do what we always do and uh, perform well. It's a pretty unique atmosphere there and obviously the crowd are close to the pitch and they seem to thrive on getting on players' backs and I think you're somebody who actually thrives on that bit of banter with the crowd, so is this something you look forward to? Yeah, I quite enjoy that, um, the banter with the crowd. I've had it uh, throughout my career so far. And um, no, we just got to go out there, you know, first 10, 20 minutes, hopefully um, you know, put a try in or two and keep the uh, crowd as quiet as we can. It's a pretty important period of the season this Christmas New Year with three Pro 12 games in such a short period of time. Scarlets with one, Dragons and Connacht to come. You know, how do you prepare for these games when there's such short turnarounds between matches? Yeah, a very short turnaround this week, but uh, you know, don't think about it too much. You just you know, keep going and turn up on training day. And like, we had a good training session again this morning, um, so hopefully we can take that into into the weekend and you know just. Uh, like I say, do what we do best and uh, enjoy the game, enjoy the crowd and the occasion. And on a personal level for you, having just come back from a quite a lengthy layoff again when you played against Grenoble and marked your return with two tries, I suppose you just want to be out there playing rugby, ball in hand and doing what you enjoy. Yeah, well, Grenoble is a, you know, a nice game to come back and uh, get about 20 minutes there and uh, the team did very well. Um, I was just lucky enough to get, get over the line, just had to catch the ball. Um, but uh, yeah, it'll be it'll be good to get some more time on, on this weekend. And uh, you know, the the team is very strong at the moment. You know, we've got a good uh, handful of boys there now. Um, so you got to make your mark and uh, hopefully get the jersey again the next week. At the halfway point of the season, for you in particular, as much as anybody else, I think it's to reiterate the points about game time and make an impression. Because as you've touched on before we came on camera, you have to contract at the end of the season. And you want to be staying in an Osprey shirt as long as you can be. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Hopefully, I can uh, you know get enough time to show them uh, uh, what I can do, and then hopefully they can uh, come back to me on that. Dav, what a way to start 2017, another big Welsh derby at Rodney Parade. It's going to be a, a loud, busy, full house and it's something that's really whet the appetite once again. Yeah, definitely. I'm really looking forward to it. Dragons at home are always, uh, always a big threat to anyone just because of the atmosphere that, that their fans bring. So we've got to go out there and, uh, and do the job and, and uh, really look forward to it. On a personal level, you've been amongst the tries this season, so you're looking forward to having a run out again in another big encounter. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's first of all, it's about uh, getting everything else right on the field, and then you know, if if I can bag a try, then then that's, uh, that, that just puts uh, icing on the cake. I've touched on Rodney Parade. It's always a difficult place to go. The loud fans get on players' back, and obviously the conditions, perhaps with a football match on Saturday there, and the way that the pitch has been this season, probably makes it perhaps a little bit of a slugfest rather than something where you'll be stretching your legs too early. Yeah, the you know the pitch. You know, from from recent history, hasn't exactly been is been the best, but it's it's something that we know and something that we've prepared for, and and, and something we've just got to deal with. And then being on the wing, you know, the crowd are right on top of you, uh, right in the touchline. So it's just something I've got to relish and, uh, and 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 look forward to playing playing against. Off the back of the win against the Scarlets on Tuesday, puts us in second place, halfway point of the Pro 12 season. So a good position to kick on in 2017. Well, it's reminding and remembering that there's actually nothing won while we're only in January. Yeah, definitely. It, it does put us in a great position, but like you said, it's, it's still only halfway through the season and there's, there's another half to go. So, you know, it can all change, but we, we are going to work as hard as we can to, to stay where we are and, and, and fight for that uh, playoff position. And we're competing at the top end of the Pro 12, we're top of the European pool, even top of the Anglo-Welsh pool. So 
it's great and exciting for players and fans alike to be competing on three fronts, but it makes for a very busy second half of the season with no let-up and pressure every weekend. Yeah, with, with with the strength and depth of the squad we've got this year, it's 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 much easier for us to sort of spread the boys around and uh, and give boys a rest when they need it. But to be top of all three is, uh, is, is I, well, I'd say was something to be quite proud of. That's all for now. Don't forget, the Ospreys have back-to-back -back home games coming up in the Pro 12 and European Rugby Challenge Cup against Connaught and Lyon. Tickets for those games are available to buy now. Make sure you get yours and support the cause this January.